And first up, an update from Tamil Nadu. Army and NDRF have joined rescue operations across the state, even as the Med Department forecasts rains for another 24 hours. The death toll is rising to 71 now. Schools have been closed and universities have postponed their examinations in the wake of the flood situation in the state. Let's cut across live to Shabir now. He's joining us with the latest uh, on the situation. Uh, Shabir, first of all, what, what's the situation this morning? Have the rain stopped? Uh, apparently, there's a forecast from the Med Department of another 24 hours of rain in the state. Well, uh, even as uh, there is a forecast uh, from the Med Department, the rains have stopped since last night. Uh, but the situation still remains grim at the ground level. And these are the first visuals of uh, the Indian Army rescuing uh, uh, civilians uh, from uh, who were stranded inside uh, uh, in, in, in areas that were completely inundated. Uh, uh, so far, uh, the Army has uh, rescued at least uh, 22 to 30 people uh, from uh, these low-lying areas. These people have been stranded uh, for the past uh, two to four days uh, and still uh, uh, um, and they they were uh, not in, there was no electricity there was no food uh, and uh, there was no water and all they could do was uh, uh, move to a safer location and wait for some kind of help uh, and uh, though uh, there were several attempts by the local uh, police and various others to uh, bring people who were stranded inside uh, uh, finally the army was uh, uh, was, was called in and right now the army is working in full swing uh, carrying out relief and rescue operations along with the Tamil Nadu Commando Force and the SDRF. The Tamil Nadu Commando Force uh, uh, is uh, spearheading these operations in these areas since yesterday. Yesterday we saw the Coastal Security Guard uh, uh, ADGP himself uh, rescuing uh, uh, people here uh, in this particular area and the SDRF and, uh, and other, other teams have joined uh, uh, the rescue operation. So these are the first uh, and exclusive visuals that uh, we are getting from Chennai and uh, people in Chennai have never seen something like this. The rains uh, uh, right. this particular year is unprecedented and this has caused uh, maximum damage uh, and uh, it has caused uh, a lot of inconvenience for uh, the people of uh, this city. And though the corporation says that it was ready to tackle the monsoon, but some things went wrong and the, and the Chennai corporation couldn't do anything. And even as we speak, uh, the Tamil Nadu government had deputed uh, 24 IAS officers, senior IAS officers, both in Kanchipuram and Chennai to carry out relief and rehabilitation measures. So at this moment, uh, the priority of uh, the state government as well as uh, all the agencies who are part of uh, relief and rescue operations is to rescue people who are stranded inside. In this one particular area alone, uh, the reports that we could gather from people who have been rescued uh, from inside is that uh, there are uh, close to 300 to 400 people who are stranded inside in various residential apartments and various hamlets uh, uh, and, and these people uh, are uh, either in the terrace or uh, they are they are in uh, in the first floor or second floor of uh, the apartment so they are waiting okay. for some kind of help though there has there, there is no electricity there is no mobile phone connection so people are uh, uh, cut off uh, from uh, the rest of the world uh, so this entire area is inaccessible for any kind of Vehicle. So that is what we could understand from the residents there. They are, they are telling us, the residents uh, who were rescued by the Indian Army and the commando forces, uh, they are telling us that uh, uh, their vehicles are completely submerged into water. Even uh, heavy vehicles like lorries are, are, are submerged into water. So that is the kind of situation that is prevailing inside uh, this one particular area. And similarly, Army is being deployed in two areas where there is heavy flooding uh, and, 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 and uh, uh, when Army is deployed, uh, one can understand that how serious this entire situation is, how grim the situation the is indeed situation quite is. serious, so that, Shabir, and that's why Army and NDRF have, have been called in by the Tamil Nadu government to really help in relief and rescue operations. 